case. So we'll start with our allergy yoga. Yes. So um, I hear that this year it's supposed to be a little bit more um, intense, the allergies. So we'll just get a head start on that. And um, so basically yoga is, is just this beautiful practice that um, it, it's, it's a timeless remedy for almost every condition of our body. And so today, including allergies. And so basically allergies, it's the same sort of uh, practice as we would for a cold or for uh, boosting our immune system, because when our immune system is compromised, everything is more intense that we get in our bodies. We can get a cold and it can last longer. We can get more cold. So it's basically addressing the same thing that we would to keep our immune system boosted so that it can fight off those reactions to what we get, viruses, allergies, all of that. Yeah. So we're going to just start with alternate nostril breathing, but let's just begin with shaking. Shake, shake, shake. Shake the head. Good. So yes, with our breath, with our movements, we can keep our immune system boosted. And it's ever so important as we get older. And that's when we tend to say, mm, you know, I can't do yoga, but you all know you're here. You know that yoga is somehow benefiting you in your life. Yeah, so subtle, but so profound. Good, and relax, good. So we're gonna bring the left hand, your left hand up on your lap. And you're just gonna touch your thumb and pointer finger. And then the right hand is going to be peace fingers in the middle of your um, eyebrows. Yes. Good. Nice tall spine, gentle tall spine. And you can close your eyes here. Yeah. Good. And so we'll just begin with alternate nostril breath. So let's just take a cleansing breath in through both nostrils and breathe out through both nostrils. Now gently touch the right side of your nose with your thumb and inhale slowly through the left, <clears throat> left nostril, all the way to the top. And then touch the left side of your nose and exhale out the right side, all the way. Inhale all the way up to, through the right side, same side. And touch your nose and exhale out the left side. Inhale the left. Touch the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Touch right, exhale left. Continue at your own pace. The breath is relaxed, the breath is long, full. Nice and smooth. Try to relax, relax that right arm, even though it's up on your face. And just keep going as slow as you can. So continuing your alternate nostril breath out and in through one side, out and in through the other side. Again, nice and deep so that breath that's going in through your nostrils over all those membranes and into your lungs, building up that nitric oxide in our body. And with allergy season, those membranes tend to get irritated and inflamed. So it's, you know, continuing to breathe in and out of your nose will help that inflammation. Each breath maybe is a little longer and so slow. Notice the exhale, squeeze out every bit of air on your exhale. And there's tiny little pauses in between the inhale and the exhale breath. Breathe 
relax, keep breathing and just relax. Anything that might be tensing up, I know we're doing this a little longer. And see if you can relax that right arm. Relax the breast, just continue to make it nice and long and deep. And just the next time that you breathe out the left nostril, relax and let that right hand float down. So you're gonna sit with both palms up on your lap and just notice your breath now as it goes in and out of both nostrils. The more often you practice this alternate nostril breath, the more it will equally open up both sides of your nose. Yeah, sometimes there's a tendency for one side to be more stuffed up than the other. Yeah, so this also balances the left right brain, that analytical side and the creative side. Yeah, all right. And then when you're feeling ready and complete, you can gently flutter the eyes open. Such a powerful breath. If, there, if you remember one breath in the, your yoga practice, try to keep a regular practice of this alternate nostril breathing. I'm telling you, it'll get you through anything. If you're headed into surgery, you know, and they're, you're just laying there, you know, you don't even have to use your hands, but you can just close your eyes and imagine the breath going in and out through each side slowly, it will just calm your central nervous system down. Yes. Yeah. I mean, hopefully you're not going into, and that's on my mind because, you know, anyway, but just whenever you need to, whenever you're feeling depressed or even overexcited or overstimulated, sit down and just do 10 rounds of that alternate nostril breathing. Okay. Another powerful breath for especially allergies um, is. Uh, um, called Bastrika breath, bellows breath. Yeah, so we're gonna basically be breathing, we're gonna use our arms and we're gonna be on an inhale breath. I'm just demonstrating, we're gonna inhale and shoot your arms up, spread your fingers wide, straight up and exhale, just drop your hands to your arms to the side, hands and fists. So, um, and we, you may need a Kleenex because <laughs> we'll begin blowing out of our nose. Yes, so have that handy. If not, you know, just use your sleeve or something like that. Maybe you won't need it. So I'll give you a second to look for that. Yeah, um, but this, this, you know, just clearing the nose out deep into the nasal <clears throat> cavities can really be beneficial for us. Yeah. All right, so we're going to start with arms and down alongside our rib cage. Good, nice and relaxed. So we're lifting and lowering. Right. If you have uncontrolled high blood pressure or you're, you have issues with the shoulders, you don't have to go up as high. Just inhale up, exhale down and in and out of our nose. All right. We'll stay. Keep our eyes open here if you want to or you can close them. But we're going to take a cleansing breath in and breathe out. And now on an inhale breath, reach your arms up, spread your fingers wide. And on an exhale breath, drop your hand, arms down. In, out, in. And again, it's like blowing your nose. And relax, okay, you got that? I need this now. Who would have thought this is yoga? Yoga for blowing the nose. Yeah, much better. Okay, so we're gonna do two more rounds at your own pace. We're gonna close our eyes. And again, when you blow out, give it your 100% as if you really wanna blow out your sinuses, you know, get your sinuses cleared. All right, so relax your arms down alongside your body. Good, it's nice and relaxed. Good, hands and loose fists. Take a cleansing breath in and breathe out and breathe in, bring your arms up and breathe out with your arms down. In, up, up, down. Up, 
up, down, up, up, down, in, out, in, out, up, down, one more, up, down, and relax with your hands up on your lap, our palms to the ceiling, keep your eyes closed. Notice the effects of the breath. You might be feeling a little bit more energized. Maybe your mind's sort of waking up if you were tired. Yeah, this is also good for energizing the body. Yes, and we'll do one more round. So bringing your arms down alongside your ribs. Yeah, relax, good. Take a cleansing breath in and breathe out. And together begin up, down, breathe in, out, up, down, all through your nose. And relax. Arms, palms up on your lap. Again, just noticing the effects of that breath. Good. And then when you're feeling ready and complete, you can just gently flutter your eyes open. Yeah, how was that for everybody? So it's a great way to, um, again, great for allergies because it gets deeper into your sinuses and just gets all that. Um, that's mucus that's building up in there. Yeah, good. All right, so we're gonna start with um, taking our fingers here and we're gonna start to tap our chest. So as you all by now know that our thymus gland, which is a big part of our immune system, lies right below the sternum here. And so we're just sort of reminding that thymus to wake up because the more that we eat well, eat fruits and vegetables, drink lots of water, drink warm tea, all of that will build our immune system, which will help us have a, less effects of allergies around us. Yeah, so we can go out to the side now. I always feel somewhat like Tarzan when we do this. <laughs> the reason why Tarzan beat his chest so he could have the immunity and the energy to do what he needed to do, right? Yeah. I won't yodel though. And relax. Arms down. Good. Ah, nice tall spine here. Gonna turn our palms out. On an inhale, just very loosely, bring your arms just up to where they're comfortable. You can bend the elbows. Big breath in. And as you exhale, breathe out breathe in. So during this time of year, try to tap into big breath in and out of your nose. Um, and that will help keep it clear. Yes, because if we stop breathing through our nose, then it'll plug up faster. And then once it's plugged up, then it's a challenge, right? Just breathing in and out of the nose. Smile on the face. Our smile, when we smile, it actually opens up our sinuses a little bit. Yeah. Relax and roll the shoulders. Good, relax the arms. Keep the arms down alongside your body here. We're gonna take a breath in. Again, if there's a little string on your heart, you're just gently lifting your heart. We wanna avoid, um, you know, rounding the back as we sit. Good, so nice tall spine, breath in again. As you breathe out, drop your right, your head to the right. Yes, ear towards the right shoulder. And then the left arm can lift up away from your body. And so the left fingertips are gently reaching towards the floor. And that is turned tilted to the right, opening up this whole left side. Again, of your throat, even part of the sinuses get open here. Also lymph glands. And then as you exhale, relax your arm down, take your right hand onto the right side of your head and just help to lift it up. It'll keep it from straining. Yes, take a breath in. 
As you exhale, drop your head over to the left now. And float that arm out to the side a little bit. If that feels comfortable, if not, you can keep it hanging down. Good. And breathe. So you're gently reaching your right fingers towards the floor. It's just a gentle stretch. Yeah. And breathe. Two. And one. And as you exhale, relax the hand down. Good, take your left hand to the left side of your head and help lift your head back up and bring hands onto your lap. Good, take a nice breath in, tall spine. Exhale, drop your chin to chest. We're just gonna do some half circles here. Good, so on an inhale breath, roll your right ear towards your right shoulder. And then as you exhale, slowly drop your chin to the chest, center of your chest. And inhale, slowly roll your head to the left, left ear to left shoulder. And exhale, chin to chest. And again. And one more. And this time on an inhale breath, roll the head over to the right. And let's make a complete circle to the up and back just a little bit and to the left. Down. You can feel free to close your eyes here. So opening up the whole upper body. And then the next time that the head rolls forward, chin to chest, you're gonna pause there and reverse, do a few circles the opposite direction. Inhaling up. And the chin comes to chest, pause, press into your feet to slowly float your head straight back up. Good. Relax your arms down again alongside your chair. Good. Press into your feet. Feel the spine stretch long. Lift the shoulders up to your ears. Smile on the face. Exhale. Relax. So we're holding our breath as we lift our shoulders. Press down into your feet. Lift your shoulders up. Hold. Smile. And relax. Good. And one more. Press into your feet. Slowly float those shoulders up. Big breath in. Hold. Hold. Lift. Hold. And relax. And roll it out. Good. And roll forward. Nice. A couple more tips. Like if you're feeling like stuffy from this, you can just sort of um, take your fingers and massage your sinuses, which are up here above your eyes, and sinuses below your nose. Like just spread your nose wide, like you want to widen your nose with your fingers. Yeah. And even just bringing your hands onto your forehead and massaging, it's like getting into that third eye. But that also gets into, you may find if you have sinus issues that you'll feel sore, you know, a little soreness. So just moving around those sinuses as much as we can from this side, yeah, is nice and relax, feels nice. All right, so coming into a little arms down again alongside the body, turn the palms out. On an inhale breath, float your arms out and bring your fingertips to your shoulders, good. And now we're gonna just do little circles with our elbows. You can do tiny circles and then slowly get bigger. We're breathing, continuing to breathe in and out of the nose. And the next time your elbows come down, just when it feels organic, just reverse. Breathing in and out of the nose. Yeah, if there's one thing you do today, just keep breathing in and out of your nose. Yeah. 
and relax the arms. Relax the arms down and now just roll the shoulders out. Good. And then we're gonna come to a little um, sun salutation here. But we're gonna just come to a forward fold first. So take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, hinging at your hips, press your belly forward and just come forward. Into a little forward fold, looking down at the floor. Good. And then inhale, slowly bring the head back up. Good. And then as you exhale again, slowly hinge at your hips and drop your body forward. Good. And inhale, slowly come back up. Good. All right. So we're going to be coming in. We're going to do a little seated sun salutation. So Surya Namaskar A, A, which is sun salutation, is just a really great thing for your immune system for many reasons. So we're gonna begin with our arms um, here. Yes, at prayer position. Take a breath in. As you exhale, relax your arms down. As you inhale, circle sweep your arms out and up wherever you can. Good, and take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, again, bring your arms out and back down bringing your hands onto your thigh and hinging forward. Yes. And then keeping your body forward as you inhale, lift your chest and look up. And exhale, relax and look back down. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, look up, lift your chest. And exhale, look down. Release your hands off your thighs on an inhale breath, press into your feet as you lift your body up, arms reach out and up, like we're making a big sun. And exhale, hands to heart. Nice, you can do that one more time. Take a breath in. As you exhale, relax your arms down. As you inhale, circle, sweep your arms out and up. You can even look up a little bit. And as you exhale, reverse your arms Circle, sweep them out and down. Bring the hands onto your thighs. Take a breath in. As you exhale, hinge forward. Now you can slide your hands down to your shins if you'd like to as well. On an inhale breath, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, relax the head, look back to the floor. One more time, press into your hands, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, relax down. If your hands are on your shins, slide them back onto your thighs. Good. Actually, I'm taking unchanging. Yes. And then inhale, slowly bring the body back up as you reach your arms again out and up, making that big sun. And exhale, hands to heart. Good. And that's just a nice thing. It gets the body moving, the fluid moving in our body. And that's basically the goal here, right? Is to wake up our body allow our immune system to kick on, right? And take care of whatever's happening to us, whatever viruses or allergies are trying to attack us. We stay strong against them. Good. Okay, so we're gonna do some uh, standing. So feel free to stay seated if you'd like. If you'd like to do some standing, lean forward, press down into your feet and slowly come to a stand. And we'll meet behind our chairs here. Good, I'm just gonna slide my knot. We'll need that in a little bit. There's my Kleenex. Here's that. All right, so let's just move and shake. Move the body, rock and roll here. Yes, maybe shake the arms up, shake the head. Yeah. Shake it all off. Last couple days, if you're in our state, it has been very windy. So it's the springtime, just shaking off all the junk, all the dead leaves, all the dead stuff hanging on the trees, shaking it off so it can blossom, have room to blossom into something new, new beginning. Yeah, and relax, good. Let's come to feet a little bit wider apart, good. On an inhale breath, come to one side, on an exhale breath, come to the other. And keep on going while I admit somebody here. Yeah, inhale to one side, Exhale to the other. Yes. And continue on. 
Good. Inhale and exhale. Ah, and you can even ah, get out. Ah. 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 And slowly come back to center. Good, good, good. All right. Feet a little bit. Uh, let's keep them um, a little bit wider apart a little bit. Good. And then we're just going to inhale and reach the arms up and out. And exhale. We're going to curl in. Give yourself a hug. Relax your head. Good. Inhale. Reach up. Blossom open. And exhale. Round it in. Good. Inhale. Up. Exhale, hug. And last one, inhale, up. And exhale, curl in. Good. And then relax the arms down and slowly lift the head back up. Roll out the shoulders. Good. We're going to come into a little bit wider stance. So warrior two is just this grounding, especially with all of this wind, grounding pose. Yeah. Good. Now we're going to, with legs wide, lift the right toes up, pivot on the right heel, drop your right toes. Good. Check in with your stance. See if that it's comfortable for you. Shoulders are squared forward, not over to the right. Yes. Good. Reach your right arm back, or the left arm back, right arm forward. Good. And let's just, there's a soft, take a breath in and exhale. Just softly bend that right knee as you're drawing your right thigh back. Yes, we want the knee right above the heel, not caving forward. Good. All right. And then just glide side to side here a little bit. Yeah. And then reach, reach, reach. Actually, we want the, the shoulders right above. I'm, I'm going into triangle. We want the shoulders right above your hips. Good. And let's lift our fingers up. And let's turn our gaze and look towards our fingers, our right fingers, and breathe. Nice, long, slow, deep breaths here through the nose, filling up the lungs, relaxing the lungs. Good. Smile on the face. So our breath is what helps us to build that immune system, right? Oxygen throughout the body. This whole practice, every single practice is just helping the body to move, wake up, and let it do its job. And as you exhale, relax your arms down now. Press down into your right foot. Gently straighten the right knee. Lift the right toes up and pivot forward with those right toes. We're gonna heel, toe, heel, toe, feet two, hip distance apart and shake it out. Good, wiggle out the shoulders. All right, let's come into our little bone building uh, practice here. So feet, hip distance apart. And we're gonna just come up onto the balls of our feet and drop our heels. Lift up and drop. Again, making sure that your head's not forward here, that it's right above your shoulders. And maybe even bringing the palms forward. Lift up and drop. Lift up and drop. Yes. Knees stay soft, especially on that drop. Yeah. So just coming up and down. And if you want to get a little bit more of a heart rate going, you can do it a little quicker if you'd like. Yeah. But that dropping of our weight is sending signals to our brain, right? Number one, to pump blood from our heart through our body. And number two, to get those osteoblasts to wake up and build bone mass. Yeah. We have the power to heal ourselves. As I said at the beginning, this practice basically is just this timeless remedy for anything that may go wrong in the body. And relax, good. And kick it out, kick out your feet. Give them a little wiggle. Good. And then we're gonna go to our warrior two on the other side. 
So spreading the feet wide, again, nice wide stance. Lifting the left toes up gently, pivoting on the heel and dropping. Good. And then the heels about in line with the middle of the back foot. So do any minor little adjustments to make yourself feel grounded and stable. Again, during this wind, as if there's a big gust of wind and it wouldn't even rock us. Stretch your right arm back, stretch your left arm up to the opposite side. Press into your left toes. Imagine that left thigh drawing back as you soften the left knee. Good. This time we're gonna bring our fingers down. We're gonna look over to that left wrist and breathe. Just stretching the top of our hands, yeah. Nice long deep breath. This pose helps us to just get rid of any blocked energy that we might be holding. Excuse us, you know, we're, we're working our muscles, strengthening our core, our lower body. Big breath here. Two, and one. And then as you exhale, just let the arms flow down. Turn your head, look forward. Press into your left toes to gently straighten that left knee. Yes. Lift the left toes up, pivot them in, and heel toe, heel toe, feet back to hip distance apart. Wiggle it out. All right, coming into our little bit of a side bend here to get into our spine. On an inhale breath, reach that right arm forward and up, stretching up tall. Get as tall as you can on this right side. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Yes. Good. Each exhale, stretch up a little more. On your next inhale breath, reach up and lean over. Yeah. And then gently turn your head and look underneath the right arm. Belly is tucking in. You can gently press that left hand into your left thigh for some leverage if you like. You can even bend your left elbow and lay that forearm on your low back if you'd like. That's just another option here. Good. One more breath. On your next inhale breath, slowly lift your body back up. If you had your arm behind you, release it down. Good. And just lower that right arm forward and down or out to the side. <clears throat> Good. And relax. Roll out the shoulders. Good. You might notice that your right side feels a little bit more expanded. So let's even us out. Left arm forward and up. Good. Stretch up tall. Big breath here. Good. Each time you exhale, lift that arm up a little bit more. Then on your next inhale breath, reach up and lean over. Keep that head right next to the upper arm. Good. Right hands again. You can look and turn your head, look underneath that left arm if you'd like. And again here, just an option, if you want to bend your right elbow and bring the, uh, your forearm onto your low back, sometimes can feel like you're a little more supported back there. Just an option. And breathe. A little deeper opening in that left shoulder as well. Two, and one. Then inhale, slowly come back up. Exhale, slowly bring the gaze back forward. On, uh, tie your little right arm there. And then slowly just lower that left arm down. <clears throat> Always coming out of the poses slowly, right? So that there's no injury. That your body trusts you, yeah. And wiggle it out. All right, we're gonna come into um, a little standing sun salutation now. So if you're seated, you're gonna do the sun salutation we did while we were sitting down. If you're standing, you may need the back of your chair here. Good. All right, so we're just starting here at the back of our chair. Good. All right, arms down alongside the body. 
And on an inhale breath, we're gonna circle, sweep our arms out and up. Good. And then exhale, turn your palms out and slowly drop your arms, soften your knees and bring your hands to the back of your chair and hinge forward. Do a little forward fold. And you're gonna take your right foot and you're gonna step it back onto the ball of your right foot. Put a little bend in your left knee. And on an inhale breath, lift your chest and look up. Little cobra pose. And exhale, you're gonna look back down, bring the body back down, looking down. On an inhale breath, bring your right foot forward. Step your left foot back onto the ball of your foot, or you can drop the heel. Yeah, good. Little bend in that right knee. And on an inhale breath, lift your chest, look up, and exhale, look back down. On an inhale breath, step that left foot back. Exhale, relax your arms down. Inhale, circle, sweep your arms out and up. Bring your palms together and exhale, hands to heart. Good. Maybe I'll do it to the side. You stay there. I'll do it to the side so you can see more what's going on. We're going to do that one more time. Maybe we'll do another one flowy. All right. All right. So starting with nice tall Tadasana. You're going to inhale, reach your arms out and up. And exhale, turn your palms out. As you start to send your hips back, soften your knees. Bring your hands to the back of the chair and hinge forward. This time we're gonna step the left foot back. Yes. And then inhale and lift the chest. Yes, good. And maybe here, if it's available to you, reach your left arm up. If you can, maybe reach the right arm up. Lifting the chest, looking up slightly. I mean, it's a high lunge. As you exhale, float your hands down, one or both hands, and hinge forward again. On an inhale breath, step that back foot forward. On an exhale breath, send the right foot back now. Good. Little bend in that left knee. Inhale, lift the chest. Now on this side, if you're feeling stable, have the head right above the shoulders. Maybe you bring that right arm up. You can stay right there if that's enough. Maybe you lift the left arm up. Take a nice big breath in. Exhale it out. Another breath in. As you exhale, gently float your hands back to your chair. Hinge forward. On an inhale breath, bring that right foot to meet the left. Exhale, relax the arms down, lift the chest. Inhale, circle, sweep your arms out and up, bringing your palms together. And exhale, hands to heart and relax. Okay, so now that we have that, sun salutation is such a good thing to do for our immune system. We're going to do one more set on either side with just this nice flow and modify whatever you need to modify. And if you're seated, you're just doing that seated sun salutation with us. All right, one more round here. On an inhale breath, arms out and up. Big breath, exhale, float the arms down, start to send your hips back, soften your knees, hands to your chair, fall forward. On an inhale breath, step your right foot back, bend left knee. Inhale, lift the heart. Maybe bring one arm up, maybe the other. Breath in, exhale, relax. Inhale, exhale, hands to chair, come forward. Next inhale, breath, bring the right foot up. Step the left foot back, coming into your lungs. Lift the chest. Inhale, left arm up, maybe right arm. Take a breath in, exhale it out. Another breath in, exhale, bring your hands to the chair, lean forward. On an inhale breath, bring that back foot forward. Exhale, release the arms down, head up. 
Inhale, circle, sweep your arms out and up. Bring your palms together. Exhale, hands to heart. Release the arms down, last side. Inhale, circle, sweep arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Hands onto the chair. Inhale, step that left foot back. Exhale, relax, flip the arm. Inhale, maybe left arm up, maybe right arm too. Exhale, relax. Breath in. As you exhale, release the hands to your chair, lean forward. On an inhale breath, step that back foot forward. On the exhale, step the opposite foot back. Inhale, lift the chest. Maybe one arm, maybe the other. Big breath in, exhale it out. Another breath in. As you exhale, lean forward, come into that forward fold. Inhale, step the right foot up. Exhale, relax the arms down, head up. Inhale, circle, sweep your arms out and up, look up. Bring the palms together. Exhale, hands to heart. And relax. Good job, everybody. Yeah, that flow, that flow just gets the whole body moving. The prana energy just going all over the place. Yeah, so it's coming back to Tadasana. All right, so just do whatever. Shake, shake off any little tension you might have built. So, so simple, right? So simple and yeah, I'm good. All right, we're gonna step over to the opposite side of our other chair, our chair here to the right side. Doesn't matter which. Another thing that's really helpful for the immune system is um, our balancing our tree pose. Yeah, so we're gonna come into just our gentle tree. All right, so you can hold on to the side of your chair here to start with. You can bend your, up, your outside knee. This will be your maybe right knee. Yeah, good. Nice tall spine here. So options for our feet, our, our legs are this, or you know we can bring the knee up to the side and the bottom of the foot to the inside of your ankle. Keep your spine nice and tall. Yeah, maybe you bring the foot onto your shin, the side of your shin, maybe some even into your thigh. You choose. Yeah, keep a nice tall spine here. And see now if you can gently float your hands into Anjali Mudra. Yes, yeah, so you could just float the elbows out a little bit, press into your palms. That could help your balance. Find your balance here. You can always hold that chair again if you need to, if you want to. And maybe even reaching your tree branches up towards the sky. Belly's tucking in and up. Lifting the chest, good. Yeah. And maybe even swaying side to side, little windy tree, yeah. So the body is just trying to balance here, right? The brain is sending a billion signals to stay, stay upright here. If waving your branches is not working for you, just keep your branches nice and tall. Yeah. And again, you can always grab onto your chair. If you want more of a challenge, you can look up towards the ceiling. And if you're feeling completely balanced here, you can even soften your gaze or even close your eyes. Hold oh, that does a number. <laughs> Don't fall over. If you topple out a little bit, just smile and come back in. Yeah. Three, for two, for one. We're gonna come out the same way we came in slowly. We're gonna bring your palms together. Bring your hands, float them to your heart. Good. And then release the leg. And shake it out, wiggle it out. Especially this standing hip. Might have gotten a little stiff there, so you can even do a little twist. You get that stiffness out. Yeah, good. All right, now we're gonna make our way to the other side for our tree on this side. Notice, especially on these windy days, our tree pose can be a little more wobbly, right? So practice, and every day our tree is different. 
Good, so lifting the chest, bending this outside knee now, it might be your left. Good. Find your legs on this side. Try to do the same thing on this side, if you can, unless you have a, 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 an issue with one of your you know, limbs or an injury or something like that, but yes. So here, maybe the shin, maybe the thigh, whatever you did on the other side. Keep a nice tall spine. Find your balance first. Find a spot to stare at. Float your hands into prayer position. Lift your elbows up. Find your balance. Good. If you're feeling nice and balanced, maybe lifting the tree branches up towards the sky. Again, that chair is always there that you can hold on to. Good. And then the different options here, maybe you sway your branches. This side for me is a little more challenging, so that's a little more challenging. Yeah. Maybe you lift your gaze. Maybe you stop in your gaze. Maybe you even close your eyes. <laughs> that one is really challenging for me. Yeah. I'm not going to do that. This is enough for me here. And breathe for two. And breathe for one. And bring your palms together. Bring your palms down to your heart. And release and relax. And shake it out. Shake, shake, shake the body. Shake off any tension that you might have built up. Good. And we're going to come into camel pose. So opening up this whole throat area is really helpful again for cold allergies, all of that sinuses. Good. So we're going to come into camel, taking our hands and just placing them onto your low back. If that feels too tight in your shoulders, you can clasp here or here, either one. Good. So getting them just a nice tall spine. Good. Reaching your elbows back, if you're clasping your hands, maybe dragging your hands down towards the floor a little bit. Good. Now keeping in mind that we're gonna keep the back of the neck long, but we're still gonna uh, bring our, our head back. You wanna keep that neck spot, the part of that spine in your neck long. On an inhale breath, lift your chest, start to look up towards the ceiling. Looks like you're coming up and then going back and breathe opening up that throat breathing in and out of your nose soft bend in your knees opening up that whole front body sinus thyroid it's also good for the glands underneath your armpit those little pockets of fluid in your body and everything moving. Good. And on your next exhale breath, just slowly float the head back up if you had it back. Good, slide your hands down your back, down past your glutes, release your arms, straighten the knees, and just do a little rock and roll, shake, shake, shake. Good. And we're gonna take a nice big breath in and let it go. Release all the toxins on that exhale breath. One more nice big breath in and let it go. Good. And then let's just take a little walk back to the front of our chair. Yes. And mindfully find the seat of your chair Bending your hips back, floating your hips onto the seat of your chair here. Yeah, you're scooted just a little bit forward. Good. We're gonna come into a final uh, pose. This is gonna be our twist. So we're gonna squeeze out a little bit more of our lymph, lymph system. Yes, and um, keep our bodily fluids flowing. Good. So options are to either have your, you can have your legs together, you can cross your right foot over your left, you can cross your right leg over your left. Yeah, we're just gonna come, but making sure that you can have a nice tall spine, make sure that this leg is not collapsing in from the weight of the top leg. Yeah, 
Good, relax your arms down alongside your body. On an inhale breath, float your arms forward and up. You can be in cactus pose here as well. Good, take a nice big breath in, press down into your standing left foot, stretch up. Exhale, relax, start to pivot at your waist, maybe even pressing into that standing foot. And just go over as far as is comfortable, float your arms down. Pressing into the outside of that right thigh with your forearm or hand. Keep a nice, gentle, tall spine. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, turn your head and look to the right, as far as you can. And breathe. Big belly breath. Breathing in, belly rise. Breathing out, belly soften. Massaging out your internal organs here. And on your next exhale breath, relax the body. Slowly unwind. Make it slow. Take care of that spine. Good. And uncross. We're going to do that same thing on the other side. So either just legs together here simply. Maybe you cross here at your ankles. If it's comfortable for you, cross leg. Nice tall spine. Relax the arms down. On an inhale breath, slowly float the arms forward and up. A nice big breath in, stretch up tall. Let's just look up. Big breath in through your nose. As you exhale, bring your head back down, relax the shoulders. Slowly at your own pace, pivot over to the left now, pressing down into that right foot. Relax the arms down. And gently press into the outside of that left thigh with your right forearm or hand. And then gently turn your gaze and look over your left shoulder. And breathe. Nice massage, nice belly massage. Yeah. So this practice improves our, our breathing as we practice mindful breath. Right? We're boosting our immune system. Yoga does that. Strengthening our lungs, stretching our lungs. On your next exhale breath, relax. Slowly unwind. Come out of it slowly. Yes. And uncross the leg. Good. All right. And let's find our Shavasana. So sitting back in your chair, take a little time to get comfortable. Back is supported, but feel free to lay down. Yes, uh, palms are up on your lap. Make sure that you're warm enough and float your eyes closed. Eyes closed now. And take a couple seconds to get nice and comfortable here. And we're just going to do some nice breathing to be to send us into relaxation. So we're going to take a breath in through our nose for the count of two. Hold the breath for two. And breathe out for four. And now breathe in two, three. Hold two, three. Breathe out, two, three, four, five, hold. Breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four, five, six. Hold to relax the breath. Relax the body now. Just for these next few minutes. Find complete relaxation in the body. 
breath is soft. Notice the breath, just the soft breath entering your nostrils and exiting. Relax the face, smile on the face. Feel the back of your neck relax. And your throat. Shoulders soften. Arms relax. Fingers. Your chest. Hips heavy, legs relaxed, feet, toes, whole bodies relaxed, whole bodies awareness to any thoughts. Allow your thoughts to expand. Let them expand into the entire room. Let them expand outside. And let them just get blown away by the wind. Relax. And simply notice how you feel. Feel free to remain here if you'd like. If you choose to slowly come back now, become aware of your surroundings. Notice any noises. Notice the temperature of the air on your skin. Notice how your clothes feel as they touch your skin. And take a breath in and let it go.
Move ever so slowly to start to move the body. Wiggling toes, wiggling fingers. Swaying. And take a little bit deeper breath in. And let go. And making your way back to stillness. Float your hands into prayer position. Rest your thumbs onto your beautiful heart. Smile on the face. Expand all those nasal cavities with your smile. And take another big breath in. And as you exhale, bow your forehead to your fingertips. And we'll close practice today with this. The divine, the universal energy has bigger dreams for you than you have for yourself. You are being taken care of. And you are loved. When you're feeling ready and complete at your own pace, you can gently flutter the eyes open slowly as you lift your head. And I thank you all for coming and taking care of yourself on this beautiful rest of your day. Have a lovely day. Namaste. And thank you, everyone. Just keep breathing in and out of that nose. <laughs>